Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, today I wanted to talk about, well, basically how to fix a mistake. Um, the other day <clears throat> I milled like way too much flour. I found out um, why I say it's way too much is I went to make a loaf of bread, then realized it was made out of soft white wheat and not hard white wheat like I'm used to. I grabbed the wrong thing to mill. So I ended up with a surplus of flour that I really couldn't make any pizza dough or any bread, loaf bread out of. Um, and the other choice is to throw it out. Well, I had to quickly think of something to do. Um, and of course I made a loaf of bread that didn't work, which did make great croutons after that. Um, but what I need to do is take care of that surplus flour before it spoils or goes bad because when you mill it fresh it's got all the oils and nutrients and uh, you want to be able to keep it. And also I was thinking about you know box mixes for things like muffins and waffles and things like that. The, the brand that you can buy that has all the additives and things in it so all you do is add water. Um, they're great for convenience but they're not really great for the budget or your health. So I came up with a plan to use my mistake and make for some fast breakfasts as well. If you, um, you know, the adage of we, we only learn by making our mistakes, I think I'm pushing genius by now because I've made plenty of mistakes in my lifetime. So what I did was I followed what is a basic muffin recipe. You can take this recipe and um, expound on it, add in flavors that you like, add in different things that you enjoy um, to make a muffin that your family enjoy. But the thing I figured out was if you keep the fresh milled flour in the freezer already mixed with its dry ingredients and then you make up a, a measured container of all the wet ingredients, in the morning while, while you're taking a shower your muffins can be done. All you have to do is put the two together, put them in the, pan, in the tins, and put them in the oven. Um, if your kids are in school or if you work or if your kids are in college like mine, everybody's rushing out the door. Something fast and wholesome is really good. So. What I did was I divided up into three bags, two and a half cups of the whole wheat flour. This one, I think I'm gonna make banana nut. This one, chocolate chip and peanut butter. And this one, cranberry orange. Okay, all this is right now is the dried flour, two and a half cups. And then I'm gonna add the other dry ingredients, which are half a cup of sugar, or in our case, I like to add, um, Sometimes I like to add sucanat, which is a, a, an organic raw sugar, but in this one, because it's going to be cranberry, I'm just going to add regular organic sugar. Three tables, sorry, teaspoons, three teaspoons of baking powder. Now I'm going to use plain milk with these, so that's why I'm using only baking powder. Uh, I reserve the buttermilk for things like waffles, and that will be a different video. So three teaspoons of baking powder. Quarter tea, sorry, half teaspoon of salt. And dry mix-ins. Up to about half a cup. Um, I already have some in there. I threw them in and shook them up earlier. So I'm just going to do this for aesthetic reasons so you know which one I'm using. That's the cranberry orange ones. Uh, the reason I say orange is because there will go in the middle of each of these a little spoonful of orange marmalade so that when you bite into them there's a nice glaze inside. Okay, I'm going to do the same basic thing with the baking powder, the salt, and the sugar with these other two. But I'm going to also add in um, sucanut, which is the raw sugar cane, because uh, it gives it kind of a molassesy kind of good flavor for uh, the chocolate, peanut butter, and the banana nut muffins. So, okay, now I've got all the dry ingredients ready for my muffin mix. So that's fast and done. What I'm going to do then is twist these up and put them in the freezer. They're labeled, so I know what I'm making the next when I get ready to pull it out. And all I have to do is mix the dry and the wet. Now, in this one, the banana nut muffins, I'm going to toss in 
about half a cup of uh, dry ingredients in the dry bag, which would be some walnuts. Um, and they'll go right into the freezer. And this one, the chocolate chip peanut butter ones, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we're going to finish that up for the freezer and make it ready for either tomorrow morning or the next couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than have the chocolate chip fly, I'll cut it. I'm going to use about third of a cup of chocolate chips. These are mini semi-sweets just to give it a little bit of uh, that sweet flavor. It's got my two and a half cups of flour, uh, about a quarter cup of organic succonut, quarter cup of organic raw sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and I tossed in my semi-sweets. Now, same thing, close that up, stick it in the fridge, it's labeled, it says chocolate peanut butter. Now another thing that I like to do is use up that peanut butter. Um, we all get down to the last little bit of peanut butter and I know everybody tries to scrape it out with a knife or use a spatula, but this is a fantastic container to mix all your wet ingredients into when you get ready to make muffins because it's sealable. You just stick it right in the fridge and in the morning just dump everything together throw this away. So, here's my peanut butter. Not a whole lot. don't really even know how much that is. That is probably a third of a cup. So it adds a little fat. It adds a little bit of uh, the peanut butter flavor without drying up the muffin. I want to add about a quarter cup, not quite, of oil. This is um, some melted butter, a little bit of uh, coconut oil. One cup of milk. Remember, because we're not using buttermilk, this is a sweet milk recipe. We don't have to have anything special, just the same stuff that goes on the cereal. One egg. And just a dash of vanilla flavoring or pure vanilla extract. I don't even measure that. Stir it around just a little bit to loosen up that peanut butter and mash the egg. Spoon. There you go. As this sits in the fridge overnight, it's going to pick up more of that peanut butter flavor um, so that when I mix it with the chocolate chip peanut butter, chocolate chip muffin mix, it's all tasty. And you can shake it up to get as much of that off the edges as possible. So tomorrow morning or one of the mornings when we're running out of the house, and everybody needs something warm and wholesome to eat. I throw this into a bowl, throw this into the middle of it, mix it just shortly, throw it in a preheated oven in muffin tins for about 20 minutes, and everybody can walk out of the house with a nice warm whole grain wholesome muffin for breakfast. Used up peanut butter that was in the jar, used up a mistake of flour, and everybody gets a happy breakfast.